What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Pokemon White. In the last episode, we finished up everything there was to do at the Village Bridge and made it out here to Route 11, battled some trainers before we called this episode quits, and now I am back. And I have my waterfall monkey in tow once again because we are going to be doing some waterfall climbing. So let's get on the water and see what we can find out here. We know there's an item down below, but let's check up top first and see what we got up here as we make our way through here. So it looks like we got an item over this way. I don't know if there's going to be any trainers over here, but there we go. TM50 Overheat, an extremely powerful fire move that I actually might end up giving to Lumiette, 140 base power, but the problem is, is that it sharply reduces this user's special attack stat, much like Lee Storm does on grass moves uh, for Sur Superior. But the only problem is, is I don't have a white herb to speak of, and a white herb is kind of necessary for getting the most out of uh, Overheat and Leaf Storm and anything like that because it actually allows you to use it twice before you've had everything lowered. Well, what it basically does is it replenishes your stat changes and then you can use it again and then it's gone to waste. Okay, now we want to go back in the water again, I believe. And we're going to want to go onto this little land strip right here. Let's see, there we go. We just went right past it. Perfect. Got a Hyper Potion. Let's keep exploring around. This is going to be kind of an episode of just tying up some loose ends, wrapping things up as we prepare for the final plunge. There isn't much left for us to do, um, so do bear with me with this one as we just kind of grab items and go from place to place and do some cuts. I think what I am going to do in this episode, though, is I am going to do battle against Morimoto now. I'm feeling confident enough that I think my team's in a good state that we could actually battle the guy even though he does still have like 10 levels on my entire team. It's going to be a nice way of getting a little bit more experience, and I feel like that'll be a good way to cap all of this off. So, let's battle this ranger here. Get some last-ditch experience. And then we can go up and grab whatever item this might be. All right, level 60. What, what we got here? Dugong, level 64. Okay. This is a pure ice and water type, so throwing Bathory in this situation is actually not the smartest idea. I'm actually going to switch. I'm going to switch to something for Shelob. I know this Dugong is going to probably throw out something that's really going to hurt, like an Ice Beam or a Blizzard or whatever. But what? It, let's hope that Shelob can at least withstand it enough to get one shot off. Perfect. You know what? That was actually better than I expected. You could actually take two of those. All right, Thunderbolt. Come on. Oh, almost. It's going to waste a turn using Safeguard. Let's use our brand new uh, our brand new TM here, which is Energy Ball. Kind of finish it off with that. Beautiful. All right. So, Bathory gets some experience. Shelob will get some experience. Perfect. Next is Pelipper. Let's actually keep Shelob out for this. And then Shelob can level up. And then we can switch back to Bathory for whatever the last thing is. And luckily, that Pelipper did not use Protect. I have too much PTSD from Pelipper's spamming Protect back in Generation 3. They don't seem to do it as much nowadays, which is really, really nice. Okay, level 64. And next is Pinsir. Okay, yes, I will definitely switch back to Bathory for this one. Even though I don't necessarily have anything that's super effective against it, I do want her to get the experience. In fact, it should be enough to push her over the edge as well, I think. Oh, they both have Mold Breaker. That's funny. All right, well, let's use Dragon Claw. Mold Breaker's a great ability. It's really, really nice. Come on. Okay, that's good. And you're going to waste a turn using Swords Dance because there's no way you're going faster than my super speedy Jolly Nature Dragon. I'm so freaking happy that I got that ability or that, yeah, I got that nature on this thing. It really made a world of a difference. That's why Bathory's been so unbelievably strong this entire playthrough. Absolutely perfect. All right, cool. There we go. Now let's head up. I have freaking Jolly on my Haxorus and Modest on my Chandelure. That's just incredible, honestly. The only thing that would have been better on Chandelure was probably Timid, but I'm okay with with that. And we got a Protector, which is the held item necessary for Rhydon to evolve into Rhyperior. Make sure that it's holding it, trade it with the item, and there you go. All right, that is it for Route 11. Now we have one more thing that we're going to go do right off the bat. And that is, I'm actually going to try to go discover where the heck the Pat Rat Lady went. Remember the Pat Rat Lady? Last episode, went off from Village Bridge, ran away from somewhere. Well, actually, we're going to be going somewhere that we were only probably about a dozen or so episodes ago. And she is actually not too far away from where we kind of started this whole post-game adventure. So let me go grab Aerunova, and I will actually see you all there in just a moment. 
And welcome back to Marvelous Bridge, everybody. Let's head on over across the bridge and see if we can't track this lady down. She's got to be around here somewhere, right? I mean, her pat rat, she's got, what, a four of them? You probably can't. There you are. Will you come see the famous pat rat show at Marvelous Bridge? Yes. Okay, I'm going to get all fired up. Ready, all pat rat? Everyone gather up. The pat rat that I have you follow today is... This, the little pat rat with the trendiest eyebrows. It's holding a big mushroom. Ready, set, go. Screet. Oh, gosh. We got to follow it. Oh, where's it going? Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, I think it flipped on me. Oh, this is messing me up. Uh, Did I lose it? I might have lost it right there. The switches are scary. Okay, let's try it. I think it was this one. Parrot is holding a big mushroom, right? You are? Totally correct! Receive your prize, a big mushroom from that pat rat! And there we go! Alright, cool, cool! That marks the grand finale of our pat rat show! Thank you, one and all! And there we go! Yeah, so that lady, if you ever encounter her inside her house, she just takes off with her pat rat, comes here, and you can go get a big mushroom for your troubles, which obviously sells for a fair bit. Pretty little, uh, cool little Easter egg. Always take advantage of that if you get the opportunity. I guess if you went the opposite way, you would run into her very naturally. But given that I started in Nimbasa, that's not how things worked out. Okay, so I'm going to head off to Castelia City. We're just going to do this thing. I know I'm probably still in a little bit of an iffy situation to be doing this, but I'm going to give it a shot. Morimoto is a lot tougher than me at the moment, but it's a rebattable, uh, rebattleable fight that we can do every single freaking day. It's just worth it to get it out of the way and done. And then uh, I can only start gearing up for the Pokemon League at this point. So let me grab my uh, Naz here, who I hope I don't have to use in this fight. And I shouldn't have to use in this fight. But we're heading off towards the Game Freak building, which is just up this street immediately to your right. I'm going to head on over here, go past all these people. And let's go say hello. I am not at all nervous for this. Even though, I mean... I, I think I gave it an attempt, but it was also like 15 levels ago, so maybe that wasn't the fairest uh, summary. I think I probably should be okay now. I don't know what I'm worrying about so much, but I'm sure it's still going to be pretty tough. Okay, let's do this thing. Who do I have out in front again? It's Bathory. Yeah, Bathory will probably work for most Pokemon. Come strong, I can tell you want to have a battle with me. Let's begin! And here we go. All right, six Pokemon we're going to be battling against that are all in the mid-70s. This is going to be a toughie. He's going to start with a Lipard. Now, luckily, this thing is not going to be one-shotting us, like, immediately, but I definitely still want to get some Dragon Dances out here to actually take advantage of the situation, because I'm sure this thing is going to hurt. It's probably also going to lead with a Fake Out. Yep. Knew it. Well, we'll see how much damage all of its other moves are going to be doing. That's not does not bode the most well for this whole situation. Grass Knot's too bad. I can handle Grass Knot. All right, let's, I'm going to try to get two Dragon Dances in, and then we'll go from there. So let's do one more. It's going to use, well, we don't know. Hopefully, it's not a critical hit Night Slash here. I am definitely, it is a Night Slash. Just don't be a crit, please. Ooh, okay, good. You know what? Honestly, less damage than I was expecting. Let's go with a Hyper Potion just to kind of top off here. If it crits, I will use another Hyper Potion. If it does not crit, it's time to go to work. All right, here we go. Come on, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. It did not crit. Perfect. Okay, it's time to Dragon Claw. Let's do this thing. Take it out. Hopefully that's going to one-shot it. It might. It might not. We'll see. Yes. Okay. Beautiful first start. Lots of experience to be had from that. Next, we got Zip Striker. Let's keep Bathory out because we have those Dragon Dances in play. We're just going to Earthquake this thing. She is already the most well-equipped for this situation. Level 77. But hopefully this is enough damage to take it out outright. Come on. Yeah. That's what I love to see. That's going to be a lot of experience. 74. Wow. 7,410, not bad. Okay, Swoobat's next. I'm actually going to keep Bathory out. I've already got those Dragon Dances in play. Might as well just keep using them. Let's go with another Dragon Claw here. It's probably not going to... I mean, I don't know. Swoobat's pretty awful, but I don't think it's going to one-shot this thing. Uh, it did. Oh, my gosh. You are hopeless, Swoobat. This is the thing I was saying about Morimoto. He does not have very strong Pokemon. Because I believe, aside from those three, all he's got left is the M Elemental Monkeys. Which, for those, I think I am going to be doing some swapping here. Let's go with Arthur next. 
Although I do know all these elemental monkeys do tend to get moves that help them deal with a lot of their weaknesses. So let's try a Leaf Blade. And use Payback. Okay, well, that's not going to do too much damage, given that the Simipore is going first. It's a lot stronger if the Pokemon is slower, because it literally doubles in damage. So we can get a couple of those. There we go. Not bad. What do you have on you? That is a... Ooh, a Petya Berry for a, an increased special attack. Interesting. I don't think that's going to help too... Oh, see, now that's what I was worried about, because it did get rid of its berry. That's going to hurt a lot. Yep. Mm, and it got the crit, too. Yeah, that would have that would have been a much weaker move if it had used that beforehand, but why is Shelob not talking? I thought I healed my Pokemon going into this. Apparently I did not. Okay, well let's use a Thunderbolt. I could have sworn that I did. But maybe I'm just crazy. I went into the Pokemon Center. I guess I just didn't do anything beyond that. There we go. Shelob gets that. Now we go on to Simiseer. And I think Simiseer might be packing a ground type move. Or maybe it's just Rock Slide now that I'm thinking about it. But we're going to still use Crush for this nonetheless. We're mostly okay. If I have to go back to Bathory and use Earthquake, I will. I can deal with Crunch. That's not going to hurt too bad. Or unless we miss, then it is going to hurt a little bit. Okay, here comes another Crunch. And this could start lowering my defenses too. Come on, there we go. I think I can withstand one more Crunch without too much issue. Oh, here comes another one. What is this going to raise? Special Attack. Okay. Okay. Are you going to throw out any grass moves? Nope, you're just going to keep using Crunch. You don't have anything else. I think it... I could have sworn that Simiseer could learn Grass Knot, but I guess he didn't want to give it to it, so we'll take it. And there we go. All right, last but not least is Simisage. Now let's go on over to Lumiette for this one. Get ourselves a little bit extra. Come on now, throw it out. Perfect. Okay. Flamethrower this sucker. Oh, that's going to hurt, though. Ooh, come on, Lumiette. I believe in you. Don't die. Thank you. Flamethrower. There should be a lot of damage. Please be enough. It's same type of attack bonus and super effective. Yeah. <laughs> that is what I like to see. Lumiette hits level 64. And there we go. For all, I am the strongest and greatest. Just kidding. I mean, I did beat him. You think about battles very thoroughly. I lost, but I learned a lot from you. Besides, it was fun. Come back again tomorrow. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that I wanted to do as an aside in this last uh, this last episode before the Pokemon League and everything after that. So I could just go and outright battle the Pokemon League now. I really could. And you know what? I kind of want to. Like, I look at the levels of our Pokemon and, you know, 62, 64, 65, 64. But what we just faced, that's the highest levels of anything in the Pokemon League. But... Just to play it a little bit safe, and mainly just because I don't want to be redoing this over and over again, what I'm going to do is instead of five levels to everybody, I'm just going to go with two. Two levels. Bath 3 to 67, Naz to 67, Lumiette to 66. I'll get Arthur and Crush each to 65. I feel more comfortable with that, and we'll put Shelob at 66. And I'm going to be doing that between episodes. Next episode, it's going to be daylight out. I'm going to record this on a brand new day. We're going to go through the entire Pokemon League see through to the end game and then there's just going to be one more episode after that which will constitute as the finale uh the pokemon league challenge itself will probably be two episodes so we're just about done here guys thank you all so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this very much this has been a very fun let's play i can't wait to gush about it more as we get into the finale but with all that said i will see you all in the next one <laughs>